so what is up guys it's me again so today I'm gonna show you how to enlarge and make uh, eyes bigger so let me just zoom into the eyes here make a copy of this layer <clears throat> by pressing ctrl J but that's just so I can show you before and after now let's start pick up the lasso tool or any tool for selection but lasso tool is the best for me and just make a selection around the eyes and you need to, to select the eyelashes also so be careful about that so I'm happy with this selection now what you need to do is press Q on your keyboard go to the filter blur Gaussian blur and just make sure that this red color is not going inside so you, you need to mess with those settings here so the selection is good okay I'm happy no 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 maybe a little bit more let me see I think that this is good I'm just gonna press ok press Q again now press ctrl J just to make a, a new layer from this eye now press ctrl T so we can you know control this and make sure this anchor point needs to be on middle of the eye not on eyeball on the middle of the eye so I think that's around here probably I think a little bit more here maybe like so now make sure when you're doing this when you're resizing to hold alt and shift now when you're making your uh, your eye bigger you need to remember this value here so I'm, I'm just gonna resize this by holding shift and alt okay so this value is around 100 and 109 okay and press enter now that's it that, uh, that's the right eye I'm just gonna name it right eye okay let's move to the left one so pick up the lesser tool make a selection okay that's fine so press Q on your keyboard go to the filter blur Gaussian blur I'm happy with this click OK press Q again and then just control G oh sorry I didn't do that, do that from background so just press control J I'm gonna name this left so just so I know which is which and again press ctrl J uh, ctrl T sorry just to get this and move this anchor point on the center of the eye again so I think this is good and it was around 109 the value so just to be sure I think this is fine it doesn't need to be really precise so that's it so let me just make group and see before and after now if you're not happy with something if there is for example here over the eyes or something you can create a mask and just paint it with you know brush and make sure the foreground background color are white and black and you know I think that you already know that because I showed you in previous tutorials just go on that layer hold alt click on mask and paint it with white and delete the parts with the black color that you don't like and that's simply it so yeah that's it for this tutorial and see you in another one